Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nick Muhammad Haris Ben Nick Lopman. My project is about LED driver and analysis of open loop and closed loop DC to DC converter with PID controller. So this is the specification of the LED that I'll be using. Uh, it's this, the voltage output of 14 volt with the input of 25 voltage DC. And you can see there from the calculated parameter, uh, the DC to DC converter used in this project is bulk converter as the driver of this system. This is the open loop circuit of the bulk converter. As you can see, the circuit is configured with the specification and the parameter calculated. We calculated. Now, this is a pulse generator. It will create a pulse that simulate the switch closing and opening. So from this simulation, we can see that this is the sorry. This is the duty cycle, and, and this simulate the switch uh, close and switch opening. So during the switch close, as you can see, the inductor will be charged, and then discharge when the switch is closed. Voltage output of the uh, converter. So the voltage output does not reach uh, fourteen volt. Exactly, it only reach around. 13.78 the ripple is very small because we use uh, quite high frequency that's why we need to use uh, the closed loop system because we need steady state error of zero so that we can achieve uh, exactly 14 volt dc now this is the average model of uh, the bug converter uh, from to get this uh this average model circuit we need to find the constraint equation of the input current and output current during the switch on and off as well as the voltage during the switch on and off to get the constraint equation for current and voltage and then we can construct this circuit so what we want to see right now is the effect of voltage input the load and the duty cycle toward the voltage output and inductor current. So now uh, this is simulation of the uh, of the load, the effect of load, the changes of load toward the voltage output and inductor current. As you can see here, um, the effect is not that significant for the voltage output, and the current uh, as a, as the load increases, uh, the effect is is minimized for the load changes that is the result now we want to see the effect of uh, duty cycle duty cycle we start from 0 to 0 0.999 as you can see here this is the relationship of uh, voltage output and inductor current uh, toward the duty cycle as the duty cycle increase, the, the voltage output and the inductor current also increase linearly. Uh, this is our position as of right now for the system. It's a duty cycle of 0 0.56 here. So now we can see that we get the 14 volt output, voltage output and 700 milliampere. For the, for the third simulation, it's the simulation of the changes in voltage input to the voltage output and inductor current so you can see here the pattern is the same with the duty cycle for the bulk converter so in bulk converter the changes is also uh, increased linearly when the voltage input increase uh, so we can conclude that as a voltage input increase the voltage output and the inductor current also increase now the point of a uh, closed loop system is to improve the performance and the stability of the system. So in this case, our system is the bulk converter. And uh, this is the VID controller and, the, and its transfer function. So as you can see here, uh, this is the feedback. This is the feedback system. It will, it will uh, take the voltage output of the bulk converter and compare it to the voltage reference. From there, the PID control will uh, produce a new uh, a new duty cycle, so that we can get a, a better response 
uh, of Photoshop would. Uh, as you can see from the from from the open loop circle, this the the system that one uh, has a much higher overshoot and some steady state error. As you can see, the value is not uh, the value of the voltage output is not uh, exactly fourteen volt DC. So after the PID uh, compensator. You can see the voltage has been improved. Should is only uh, is until sixteen point six five uh, voltage, uh, whereby the open loop system the overshoot increase until twenty three point one zero eight voltage DC. So now you can see that the system has been improved. Uh, overall in terms of the overshoot and also the steady state error as you can see we get, we get constant 14 volt DC after the PID compensate the value of the voltage output now this is our transfer function of uh, the open loop open loop system and this is the transfer function of the PID so the first one is the open loop only So this is our the this is our work plot, and as you can see, the system is stable, but uh, with only phase margin of three point six one. It near the the negative hundred eighty degree mark. So uh, to make the system better, we need to improve the phase margin after the PID. So we can see that the system is improved uh, system after PID compensator you can see that uh, our face margin has increased from 3 degree 3.61 degree to 36.9 face margin and the close loop stable is yes so I will I will try to improve further on the stability uh, I will try to increase the face margin in the later time now as I said earlier, uh, the main objective for this uh, system is to make sure that the voltage stay or constant at 14 voltage DC even though there might be some changes in the voltage input or the resistance in the circuit. So now uh, if we change the value of the uh, voltage input, let's say we change it to 21 You can see that the system is uh, uh, the system the PID controller works well because uh, it compensates the value back and we get uh, we still get 14 volt output and 0 0.7 output current. So the time run for 0 0.5 second. Uh, so you can, as you can see the voltage output stay the same as well as the output current. So if you change uh, it again to let's say 30 volt, the PID controller still manage to uh, maintain the voltage output of 14. So now we uh, increase the resistance to 25 let's say. We can see that the voltage output will stay the same, but the output current will try to uh, we, we decrease because of the uh, simple Oslo. Now we can see that the uh, output voltage is constant, but the output current will not be constant. Uh, it will, uh, now if we decrease the resistance, below 20 volt, 20 ohm you can see the voltage output and still still remain the same but the output current uh, increases as per the law I think that's all from me uh, thank you Assalamualaikum